Who rocks that? In today's Manly Minute, Ken has four rules to help. Hi, Ken. Yeah, I'm going to get into the whole bow tie thing. That's my resolution for 2017. Oh, I can't wait to see to that. I'm going to start incorporate okay. that into my wardrobe. And so Cody Stark will help me with that coming up next year. But a lot of men are trying to get into the bow tie, especially with New Year's Eve parties coming your way. But you got to know some things about it before you go rocking that bow tie. You'll do it all wrong. Here you go. Four rules for wearing a bow tie. Rule number one, keep it real. What does that mean? No clip-ons. We're not eight years old going to... Uh, church on Sunday. There's no clip-ons allowed here. The reason why people go clip-ons with the uh, bow tie because it's kind of intimidating. You don't know how to tie it. Cody Stark's going to be here. He's going to me, uh, teach me how to tie one properly coming at the beginning of next year, but always go with a real one that you tie. No clip-on bow ties, people. We're grown-ups now. Number two, think about the occasion, and the fabric will dictate the occasion. If it's a shiny material like this, that is definitely for an upscale uh, black tie type of a big extravagant event. Something that Cody would do is the opposite of that. Cody will wear things that are more muted tones. Uh, they're not really shiny at all. Just classic kind of material that you can wear every day, like at work or for a meeting. But shiny material, that has to be for a special occasion. Don't wear that to work. Number three, think about the shape. This is your classic bow tie shape. There are actually more than a few shapes, but the butterfly bow tie, that is the shape you want to go with because that's going to look the best. It has a nice full look to it. You can always go with the James Bond look, which is a much more uh, streamlined look on that knot. But the boat, the butterfly in the bow tie is really what you want to go to. It looks the best. It's more classic. And then the last thing you want to think about is when you're matching your bow tie with your pocket square. Now, when you're doing it with a regular tie, you kind of want them to match a little bit, but not the bow tie. Oh. That is a no, 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 no matchy, matchy on the bow tie. <laughs> You want that oh, to be no. some sort of contrast and you want to bring other things out. But you'll find that ties, regular ties, and pocket squares come as a set because they'll match. But bow ties do not come matchy matchy with pocket squares. And if you do find them, don't buy them that way. Got Try it. to find ways to bring something else out in your outfit and not matching directly with your pocket square and your bow tie. Nice Four rules to get you started right if you want to kind of bring that into your wardrobe, which I'm going to do in 2017. Oh, boy. There are more things to think about. Go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date. And man up for always looking good, no matter what kind of tie you're wearing. Coming up later on today, you know we're talking sports, because, ooh, there's a whole lot to talk about. A little show we do. It's on uh, Sports 1140 KTK. It's called The Lowdown. Lowdown! Thank you. With me, Ken Rudolph, <laughs> Damian Barley, and Jason Ross. we got a lot to get into today, folks. We'll jump into that at 12 o'clock this afternoon. Back to you on the desk. I cannot wait.